All right, so we're getting to the outlets right now and uh, I'm excited. I've never been to an outlet in a different country besides Canada and America. So first time at the outlets in Japan, they got a Nike, they got an Adidas, they got a Puma. So we're gonna check them out. Show you guys some of the best finds I find at the outlet. I ain't really worry about nothing. All these people all around me always worry about something, yeah. It honestly feels like the outlet's like almost back in Canada. There's the Adidas outlet right there. Where'd, where'd Nate and Richard go? They just disappeared. Like they have an APC outlet. They got Michael Kors. They got a whole Armani. There's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff here. Oh my gosh. So we have about two hours. Let's get started with the Adidas outlet. The very first outlet of the day, the Adidas outlet right behind me. Let's get it. First things first, I thought I saw a palettes collaboration. Turns out it's not. It's just a giant A that looked like a triangle. Looking at some of the clothing right now, they got some exclusive Japanese stuff here. This is a really, really nice uh, hoodie right here. Damn, it reminds me of the white and blue sweater I have actually as well. The GR running stuff on these shelves here. Nothing too crazy. But over here, we got some of the stuff like the Pure Boost Raining Champ collaboration, some other Pure Boost, all on sale for like half price, so pretty dope. Now we can't find any regular Ultra Boost models, but I did find the performance running ones that are like really meant for running, like hardcore running, not like the regular Ultra Boost. They're going for 15,400 yen, down from 21,900 yen. Pretty bummed out right now with the selection at this Adidas LA. I thought they would have had some better stuff, but it sort of reminds me of the selection they have with the Canadian Adidas outlets. So we're gonna head out of here. There's not too much for me left. Let's check out the Nike outlet and hopefully they have something better. First time shopping at the Nike outlets in Japan. Let's hit it up. All right, first things first, let's check out the sidewalls here. See what we got. Nothing too crazy yet. They don't have the hash walls as far as I can see right now, but these are the basketball models right here. Here's a small wall for the hash wall. Nothing too crazy. We got some uh, these Jordan ones here. I'm not too crazy about these. These are going for about $88. Down the hash wall for my size, we got some Air Max Zeros, a woman's colorway, size 11, going for about $110. Air Max One Pinnacles for about 11,000 yen. Not too shabby, my size. This might be the sneaker we get today. Triple White Roshi Runs for about 35 US dollars. These aren't too bad. Nike SB Zoom Dunk High Pro is for 80,000 yen. It's in this like black, white, and gray colorway. Yo, these are pretty wild. The Air Max Plus GPX Premium SP going for 80,000 yen. These are gonna be great for summer if you're on vacation. This might be one of the better finds here. They have this like white cement colorway, the quick strikes of the Air Prestos going for 80 US dollars. Here's a look at the Retro Jordans. They have this entire section all dedicated to Retro Jordans. They got some Motorsport 4s, the Camo 5s, Mid Top 1s. These are nice and the quality on them is really nice too. For 14,000 yen, Air Jordan 1 highs in the sale colorway. Wow, these are so nice on these, holy cow. They also got the black colorway as well with that red hit of Nike Air on the tongue, going for 14,000 yen. Some wool Air Jordan 3s, and oh boy, they got some Jordan Executives. These are like some Jordan Future boots right here. Not too crazy about these. These look pretty good. Some Nike Flyknit trainers for 13,000 yen in this like light blue colorway. This would be great for spring. They also got a bunch of these like OG looking sneakers, the Nike Waffle Racer. <laughs> the boxes are like yellow tinted labels as well. What the heck is, I think that's intentional, yeah. Every single waffle racer has that age kind of sticker going for 7,000 yen. They got a couple more colorways of the Air Presto in this like Spider-Man, Superman colorway for 10,000 yen. They also got them in this like teal grape kind of colorway for another 10,000 yen. Now I found the Air Max section, let's check it out. The Air Max Zeros for 8,000 yen right here. Gold colorway, that was a quick strike going for now 10,000 yen. That's a pretty good price for these. They got some pinnacle Air Max Max ones right here. Not too big of a fan of these colors. Triple black Air Max 90s for 11,000 yen. These are sick, these are sick. They got a navy blue and like gum bottom Air Max 90 premium jacquard. I like this little like pattern they have around the swoosh, really dope. They also got this white colorway with some like crocodile snake embossment on the leather for 10,000 yen. Last but not least, we have the Air Max 95 Essentials for 14,000 yen and for 13,000 yen. Pretty clean colorway of these. I'm a little bit disappointed they don't have as much Air Force One selections as I would like. Couple young players, polo kicks, that riff, stacking money on a one way trip, yeah. I don't really worry about nothing, all these people all around me always worry about something, yeah. So we're at the Puma outlet now, as you guys can probably tell with the boxes. Looking out for some heat that's around under $100. Maybe we'll buy something here, so yeah, let's hit the shelves. Here is a look at the Blaze of Glory selection. 
some black, some olive. These are pretty cool. Limitless high tech. I can mess with these. 10,000 yen. Half price. That's half price from 20,000 yen. They also got the Limitless Extreme for half price too. Holy cow. That is high. That is really, really high. Triple white Evo knits right here. These are fire, man. 7,500 yen. They also got it in this other colorway. They also got it in the uh, staple collaboration colorway too. The Interval Collection. These are pretty fresh, man. I mess with these. Sugi Blaze in this beige colorway. And then they also got them in the black colorway too for 8,400 yen. Puma Basket Carex collaboration, the basket graphic for 9,000 yen. A little bit out there for my style, but still pretty fresh. And that is gonna wrap up our time at the uh, Puma outlet. This mall is so big. You can easily get lost in this place. There's at least like 120 plus stores in here. Not even exaggerating, man. There's just so many stores in here. A lot of these stores I've never seen before in my life. Like there's brands I've never heard of, but it's definitely a fun little experience being in an outlet that's in a different country that's not in North America. They tell me poor and poor we're trying to get saucy. Finnip, they call awesome, no matter what it costs me, I'm bossing. We swerving 88 when I'm drawing. She rolling with me, and I don't know where we going. Fade to blackness, whatever happens, happens. Mad like the hatter, just laughing. Gatsby, classic passes, just throwing shots at me. My Kevlar are plastic cups that's full of magic. I'm order when the right time, as the bond is white wine. I admit you're quite fine. How you feeling right now? Separated now from Kenji Toronto. They went back to the crib. They have some work to do, which means I got some time to kill in Shibuya. We're gonna get some dinner real quick. I think we're gonna go to a sushi spot or something. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And because they didn't get too much content for you guys at the outlets, we're gonna go to a thrift store and show you guys some of the stuff there. Change my mind on the sushi. We're at this noodle house thing instead. Here's the menu and then you actually order off these like vending machines and then you go inside and give them the ticket and then the food comes to you so i'll get something from here and i'll catch you guys inside yeah you looking red in the face i hope you're blushing because you're rushing to come back to my place Ooh, oh my gosh i am so full now we're heading to book off it's right in front of me so let's get inside so the main floor the middle floor i'm on right now has all of the technology stuff we got the ps vita so the playstation vrs old playstations and stuff here we got a bunch of nintendo ds games here we got some psp games ps vita games and you can still buy brand new copies of PSP games here. It's actually really, really dope. If you love anime or video games, this is a store you're gonna love. Like, this is sick, yo. Pokemon Ruby, Pokemon uh, Sapphire right here. Only for like $10 American. And then we also got the newer ones. We got the Sun, the Moon. These are going for like $20 American. Yo, no way. They have a Metabots game for 3DS? They have more than just one? I didn't even know they made any of these games. Oh my gosh, this is a throwback from when I was like 10 years old. Over here, we got a bunch of the really, really, really old school games. I don't even know like what consoles these go for. Donkey Kong, Super Donkey Kong for the Super Famicom. Whoa, that's pretty cool. You already know we got to get our Sailor Moon fix right here. We got Super Soccer. $10 copies of Pokemon Silver, I think, for the Game Boy Color. Next up, we're going to go up to the third floor and check out the book section, which has all the manga. So much manga. Oh my god. This is unreal. Even that corner there, all the manga there is like 80 cents a book. And then we got a bunch of haiku manga. This is my girlfriend's favorite anime of all time. I would cop it for her, but she doesn't know any Japanese, so it would be pretty pointless. The only disappointing thing about this entire store is that you can't find any English manga. There's just none of it here. But just take this in how cheap the manga is. Like in Canada, if you want one manga volume, it's like $12. But if you want this entire set right here, it's like freaking $10. It's like, what? The savings? Oh, I just want to learn Japanese so I can save money on manga. And yes, I know you can read manga for free online, but I really like supporting the manga artists and the writers and everything like that. And there's just something about having a physical copy of manga, you know what I mean? It's just, it's nice. It's nice to have. If you listen to music and you like the hard copies, like the LPs and CDs, you'll understand where I'm coming from. So we're here right now at the third floor with the manga, Japanese comic books, etc, etc. Next, wait, English books? All right, we're gonna go look for some English books. So we're in luck, I asked an employee if there was any English manga, and sure enough, there was. Check it out, we got a bunch of copies of Death Note, the first volume of Bleach, some other stuff here too, so I'm gonna dig through it and see if there's anything I wanna buy. So this is the first pretty cool find, they have Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. I remember watching this on MTV or 
much music, like super late at night. They had anime on those channels for whatever reason. It was just this anime though. Um, it was really cool, really cool anime. The manga's only running for 300 yen. That's not too bad. That one book I showed you guys was really the only selection they had that I wanted. Um, and I just passed on that to you because I feel like what's the point of just buying that one? But we're gonna go downstairs now to the thrift portion. I'm excited because last time we were there a couple months ago, there was some pretty good stuff. So we're gonna go check out the shoes. Wait. No. No. It's closed. There's a sign here and it says it closed at 10. Damn, and it's 10.06 p.m. We just missed it. If I had just gone to the thrifting floor before the book floor, we would have made it. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to come back here later in the week, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the vlog. I'm gonna head back home to the crib now, catch up with Richard and Nathan. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this vlog. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button down below and do me a huge favor, comment down below L gang if you made it to the end of this video. This was an L. I can't believe that the outlets were dry and that book off thrift store was closed. I was really sad about that. So comment now, gang, if you made it to the end. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to film in Japan. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.